God, you know. And they called me back and they, and they said, John's changed his mind. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? Tomorrow. I'm like, okay. All right. So I stayed up. They told me what they wanted, like what we had in mind, you know what I mean? A couple like little ideas. It wasn't even super specific. But one was the old gospel song, the spiritual song, Eyes on the Prize. And I'm like, oh man, that's my wheelhouse now. Uh, okay, perfect. You know, the other the other one I'm not gonna tell you about because it was really weird, even though I think it was cool. But that one I knew was good. You know what I mean? So I showed up there and and uh, and, and I, you know, long story short, I, I played him the, the arrangement that I come up with. I worked all night and I didn't go to sleep. I stayed up all night working on it and I I listened to all the old versions of it I could find and like some that he had done at the White House with his band. And I said, look, man, I come up with this and I think it's yeah, I think you're gonna like it. In my mind, it was like Blind Willie Johnson. You know, and none of you know who that is, but it's okay. He didn't either. He said, it's like Robert Johnson. I said, yes, but it wasn't really. It's like Brian Willie Johnson. But only me and five other dudes on planet Earth can tell the difference, so it's okay. So I said, yeah, yeah. So I, so he said, I think it's great. I want to do it right now. You and me live in the studio together. So they set up two chairs, you know, and, and you know, his knees were touching my knees every now and then. He's breathing American spirits all over my face. And like, I'm like, okay. And I'm taking notes as he's changing things, you know, and, and uh, there's two RCA ribbon microphones that are above us, you know, from the 1930s. And we're recording it to analog tape with these 1930s ribbon microphones, you know. And, uh, and we, we knocked this thing out and, uh, and, and he was pretty happy with it, you know, and he, and he said, let's go do it again just for fun. So we went in and we sang it again just for fun, you know what I mean? And uh, then, like, after he left, I'm hanging out with the, the guys there, kind of like, uh, I don't know what's going to happen. And they said, they told me then, they said, Rev, we've got 65 or so songs to pick through for a song with, or for a, an album with 10 songs on it. So don't be surprised if none of the stuff you did today ever even sees the light of day. You know, we do that a lot. So I was like, okay, you know, I didn't want to get my hopes up, so I kept it a secret. I didn't want to tell anybody, like, oh man, I played with John Mellencamp and no one ever happened. They're like, yeah, right. Like, when you catch a big fish and drop it in the water again before it get a picture, and they're like, yeah, right. You know what I mean? So I didn't want to be like that, so I sat around on it. And then, uh, anyway, long story short, a couple weeks ago, the lead single to his new record came out, and it's that song that we did together just for like So... You should you should check it out. I'm pretty proud of it. I've been I've been keeping that under my hat for a long time. So so I, I think uh, I think uh, I think you should check it out. I'm pretty proud of it. It's the old spiritual song, Eyes on the Prize, like I said, and he sings great on it.